ladies and gentlemen. Hello, welcome back. It's Airborne Kingdom. That's right. We are on the cusp. I don't want to say of beating the game, but we're we're closing in. We're closing in on that target uh, of 150 population. Uh, we got 8 out of 12 allies. Uh, we completed both areas. Uh, actually, we completed both areas that we've explored in the last episode, which is really, really, really nice. Uh, find the lone trees. I have no idea what this is. Sure. Hidden ruins, each standing alone. Fine. Anyway, that doesn't particularly matter because today, 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 we are going to the shallows. We are going to the brand new biome. I'm very, very excited to see what uh, what we've got in store. Uh, we've arrested the the, the decline in, uh, in in water. Where are we going? We're going like north. We're going like north. What is this? Northwest. Yeah. Okay. So head up this way. So we've arrested the the decline in our uh, in our water atrophy, I guess, by using these water condensers. At this moment in time, we, we're, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. Our food is, is still decreasing, but it's decreasing a lot less slowly than it once was. Our speed is good, but it could be better. Now, can we get another propulsion thing? A fin would be would be excellent. A fin would be excellent, but uh, but that's fine. Anyway, I think the shortage of of resource in uh, in this area is 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 coal. So we've got to be we've got to be careful about that. Also, I'm going very very slowly. Could I go a little bit faster, please? Could I go a little bit faster? Okay, that makes like everyone super tilted, literally. Uh, can I build a path, like, out the front or something? Okay, has that remedied it? I mean, maybe we build, I don't know, just something out here. Street lamp. 4%. I think a 4% tilt is, is acceptable. Right? Yeah, these... Oh, boy, that's a... That's a beast. That is a... Oh, that's a beast. That's a beast. I, I tell you what, this might be a good opportunity. This might be a good opportunity to see if I can get a... Another lifter in place. Either way, it's important that we get this speed upgrade before heading out to the shallows. Because otherwise, it's going to take us flipping ages to, to get there. Uh, and boy, oh boy, oh boy. We need the speed, because we are like losing a whole bunch of stuff at this moment in time. What is this? An unknown settlement? I'd kind of like to just, you know, accelerate the rate at which I'm flying, please. I don't know where all of our speed... Max speed is slower because of tilt? Really? Oh, that's unfortunate. That's super unfortunate, actually. Well, rather shot myself in the foot here, haven't I? Shot myself in the flippin' foot. It's only a 4% tilt, though. Like, it's only a 4% tilt. Okay, what about this? Does that fix- <laughs> I don't believe it! I don't believe it, that fixes us. Okay, this city is officially going to be referred to as the Narwhal. Oh, I love it. I actually love it. I actually- I actually love it. What a strategy, eh? Okay, so this- so this propulsion thing comes online. Uh, it's also really difficult to now control because... Uh, clearly just wants to fly away from me. The city, that is, because it's so gosh darn large. Uh, what do we got over here? An oasis, unknown settlement. Fine. Okay, food is running low, but that's, that's okay. Yeah. Okay, you're going to be able to see me coming a mile away. Right, let's recruit people. We actually have plenty of houses this time. Boom and boom. Creative solutions. Creative problems demand creative solutions. 21st century problems, 21st century solutions. Cotton meadow. Okay, we've we've not even we've not even come across uh, cotton or canvas yet. That's that's excellent. Uh, there should be food around here. Yeah, there's a thicket right over here. I thought as much. I thought as much. Okay. Dispatch. There we go. All workers are busy. 
Excellent. And the Oasis. We don't really need to worry about the Oasis. We will send the worker to the ruins in just a second. I'm excited about this cotton meadow, to be honest. Unknown ruin too far. Okay, that'll almost certainly end up being something that we need to we need to visit in a future quest. Uh, have we got sight of a city by any chance yet? This is such a strange environment. I was kind of hoping that when the when the day kind of broke, we'd have a little bit um, we'd have a little bit of better intel about what was going on. But as it turns out, no. As it turns out, we 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 do not. Uh, I really don't want to have a massive nose on this on this craft here. I fully intend on deleting it, by the way. I, I hope everyone knows that. Coal is running very low. I thought coal was supposedly in short supply over here, but apparently, uh, apparently we're fine. Interesting. Okay, now it's literally impossible to control the camera. I mean, it's not literally impossible to control the camera. It's challenging to control the camera. Send the worker. Also, this is like, what the heck is happening with this, with this, I keep clicking on that flipping small settlement. What the heck is happening with the, uh, ancient tower? Oh, wonderful. Uh, wait, hold up. Is that ancient tower? No, that's not, uh, not one of the things that we're, that we're after. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really quite challenging to control the camera now. Anyway, it doesn't particularly matter. Doesn't particularly matter. Relics have been found. I don't know how many relics we did end up finding, but that's okay. A little bit of extra stuff over there. More coal. Sure. Wonderful. So, we need some more coal burners. That's okay. That's okay. 79% of our possible fastest speed. That's fine. Now, can I get a propulsion building? No, not a propulsion building. A lift building? Doesn't take any workers. Doesn't take any workers. So, what I think we do is we plonk this in here. Plonk that in there. Yep, excellent. So that's going to give us a little bit of extra lift, whereas at the same time... No. No, no, no. No. Oh, there we go. Okay, this is difficult to delete. Uh, but I really do not want... Uh, okay. Destroy that. Excellent. Okay, so that doesn't put us back on tilt yet. No. I think this is the better call. I'd rather have an easy camera to control than a stupidly long nose. Okay. You know what? We'll leave a little nose. We'll leave a little snout just to... Just to remember. Just to remember that time that we had to... We had to be extremely, extremely bold. Right. Excellent. So how is this looking? This is actually looking completely, completely fine. Uh, we haven't collected a smidgen of cotton yet, but that's, uh, I guess, not a problem. Adobe, 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 Adobe. We probably don't need three Adobe kilns. I'll actually destroy one and free up some workers. At the same time, maybe also fixing our tilt. Okay, so we'll get a little bit of extra quartz, but we don't actually need that much quartz. We just need to prioritize our water a little bit. I would like to fix food. I would like to fix water whilst we're here. There's another thicket over there, but we're not actually able to unknown ruin over there. We'll head uh, we'll head out over that way. There we go. Okay, camera's been centered again. Wonderful. And now it's no longer ridiculous. Okay. Unknown settlements. Settlements down here. Library of knowledge. Okay, that's cool. That's actually that's actually really, really good because we need the the great libraries for the end game thing, I think. Don't actually know. Either way, let's not worry about the cotton. Everyone is satisfied. We just need more tech, really. We need more tech, we need more desires. We need more capability to generate desires. Okay. We're getting some more water. We need to go and get some food over here. What are we doing? Oh, 102, 102 remaining. We have loads of workers. 11 are using gliders. Sewing farms, getting water at condensers. 25 healing spirits. 8 waving fins. 2 filtering water. Is there any place that we can sort of cut back? 10 researching in the academies. 
there's not really any place that we can cut back. I think we just need more... I think we just need more people at this point, to be honest with you. Yeah. Ancient Tower. Yeah. Fine. There's a relic place over there. Okay, head up this way. Oh, it's not even centered. It's not even... The Great... The Great Narwhal Nose isn't even centered. That's embarrassing. What do we got over here? A small settlement. Aha! Wonderful. Okay, so this is going to help us. This is going to help us greatly. This is going to help us absolutely a ton. We can throw yet more people into resource collection. So, let's get the thickets. Ah, oh, there's water over here. We'll, we'll head over this way. We'll head over this way. We'll, we'll discover the settlements. I don't even know how, how deep into the shallows I am. The shallows looks huge, to be honest. I don't know why we immediately get, like, a full, like, a full map of the place. It's nice that we do, I guess. Ancient tower, wonderful. Aha! That's a city! That's a city over there. That's a city over there. A little bit difficult to see. That looks like another city over there. Dies over yonder. But so far, so good. So far, so good. We got plenty of coal. Relics have been found. Got plenty of food. There's another thicket over here, actually. Okay. We'll just head over and we'll see if we can try and find these relics. Fluorescent dyes. Excellent. I mean, look, getting getting cotton is, is a priority, but, I mean, it's also not a priority given that we don't have the tech for cotton. It's kind of a bit pointless to even countenance. Okay, I'm just going to try and sit in the middle of this water here. Decrease the number of people working by one. Send a worker over there. Excellent. And there's some more relic ruins over here, too. Quartz. Another oasis. Another relic ruin. Should we head to that city, or should we head to this city? I think they're both cities. Let's head up north to that city first, I think. Send a worker over there. That being said, though, I kind of like the idea of just, like, going wherever the relic ruins take me. Gosh, there's a lot of... A lot of cloud action occurring. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go where where the relic uh, the relic ruins take me. We should visit the cities first, though. We should visit the cities first. What the heck is that? Is that two cities or one cities? One cities? Yeah, that's that's English. That works. Okay. More people, though. More people. More people. More people. How many relics do we have? 26 relics? Wowzers, that's a lot. What do we need to get rid of? Nothing really. Uh, we just need more storage, actually. I'd love an upgrade to my storage facilities. Uh, allow us to stack them on top of each other. That would be great. We've got loads of adobe, loads of glass. Pretty decent stockpile of wood as well. Aha! Small settlement. Brilliant. If only I could recruit the third person here. If only I could find the tech to, to become jubilant. That is an unknown kingdom. That is pretty exciting. I've just done this here. I'm completely stupid. Anything out to the left? Unknown ruin? I, I keep telling myself. I must go to the Tree of Serenity. Nice. Uh, for the gardens, actually. That's, that's kind of important. I keep telling myself, I must go to the city. I must go to the city so that I can get the quest. And yet here I am, just ignoring my own advice to myself. I'm just the worst. I'm just the worst. Let's let's head north immediately. On the on the lookout for any additional ruins. That definitely looks like something strange up there. That definitely looks like another one of those towers. Barge settlers. Very interesting. Two of them. Excellent. A forge. Wonderful. Oh, did that add an extra color? Uh, oh. Oh, boy. Oh, that's cool. That's a look. I like that one. I like that look a lot. Now, if only I didn't have to click on, like, every single house in order to... In order to dye it. Okay, let's go and, let's go and see this kingdom. What is this? The Broken Isles. I don't know why, but the names have suddenly got fairly lame. The kingdom names were really, really cool in the original place, and then they've just sort of broken aisles, bluffs gateway. I don't know. 
They require aid. Not a problem. The Shallows had been expecting us and could not contain their joy. The Airborne Kingdom helps them. I'm happy to help. Bridges to reconnect their lands as one. Wonderful. Uh, we need cloth. We need cloth. That's okay. Can you give me a blueprint for a hemp weaver? Wonderful. A sail? High cost, no fuel for workers. That's pretty exciting. A balloon as well. Let's... Let's pay for that. Let's pay for that too. Okay. Uh, well, I think that we stick around... What the heck is that? That's another city. I think that we found three of the cities now. Okay. Well, I think that we stick around here. We no doubt will be able to... We no doubt will be able to find cotton nearby, I hope. Yeah, right over there. So let's dispatch the maximum number of workers that we can. Max number of workers that we can. And we'll head up. That's the that's the other four. Ah, I see. Okay, so the four cities are like one, two, three, four, or three, four, something like that. And we just need to connect the them with bridges. I I see. I see. I see. I see. Okay. Well, let's let's head up north then. Let's head up north. We don't really need to necessarily worry about this place. Let's just get the let's get the hemp weaver. Actually, I should, probably should just stick around and get it done, to be honest, given that it's not going to take that long at all. Uh, in fact, no, it will take a long time because we need to do... We need to finish the research that we're working on at the moment. Let's go and visit the other four cities. Let's go and visit the other four cities. And let's actually, whilst we're waiting, build a warehouse because this is garbage. Can't be bothered waiting for... Uh, for the research to be done. Research is just taking far too long. I don't even know what research we're working on. Oh yeah, decreased coal usage for the fins. Actually quite good. Actually, probably quite important. Probably quite important. Okay, go to the relic ruins. Even though I'm pretty certain that we're, like, not really needing anything else. Fine. Relic ruin. Okay. Ashrock landing. Alright, lots of windmill action I see. Nice. Lovely to make your acquaintance, Ashrock Landing. What have you got? Everything is shared with the Ashrock Landing, including clothing and housing. Nothing belongs to anyone, and there is no ruler. Well, that's wonderful. People need our help. They lack construction resources. Homes for the shallows. Cotton. They need cotton. They need cotton. That is my highland city up there, I think. I think that's Crag Perch. Yeah. All right, that's an unknown settlement. That's that's a couple more workers over there. Oh, do they have blueprints? No, they don't have any blueprints. I might actually just straight have discovered everything. Greenery. Oh, that's the last um, the last desire, and it needs to be built with ah uh, needs to be built with cloth. Makes sense. So we'll chat about. We'll chat about what we want to build in terms of propulsion devices and lift devices going forward. But for now, I think that the, the fins are fine. The vertical rotors are fine. Very okay with that. Send a worker over there. And let's see if we can try and go and recruit some more people before heading out to the next city that I think that we can see. As I say, I think that they're arranged, you know, very much like we would expect them to be arranged in a sort of quadrant. Recruit you. Recruit you. Wonderful. In a quadrant that can be reconnected with bridges. Which is fine. Which is totally fine. Okay, coal is still continuing to, to decrease. It's not a problem. Vertical rotors are the, the big one. The big expense at the moment. What is this? Flying... Elysian Crag? Elysian Cape. Elysian Cape. Wonderful. Their great pyre has extinguished. Will you need cloth? We shall relight the Tower of Flame. Oh, you don't. You, it's a straight up It's a straight up finding quest. Okay, wonderful. Where is it? Relight the great pyre. Each Tower of Flame. Okay, alright, so here we go. Down down to here, which is where the last city is. We know that. We relight these two ancient towers that we've already found. And by that time, we'll almost certainly have the ability to process cotton. 
which is quite nice. This area is so much easier than the Highlands. The Highlands is is brutal. Like, absolutely categorically brutal. Any other... Oh, they don't have blueprints, do they? No, they don't have blueprints. Uh, there are a couple of other... A couple of other relics that we can find, I presume. That's an unknown settlement, which we absolutely should be line for. Priority to get more people on board, literally. Oh, the fog is thick. I guess we'll do a little bit of relic collection, even though I'm pretty sure we don't need to anymore. Okay, two more. I would really, really like to get my ship into a jubilant state, but just can't. Is it just me, or is, are the cities much, much close together? I mean, look, you can literally see all of the four cities at the same time. I think this biome, whilst it is larger and has got more stuff on the periphery, it must be smaller. One hour to research the greenery. Researching the greenery is completely pointless because we need to get the hemp weaver first. Get the hemp weaver first, and that's going to take an hour or two. So that's, I mean, that's going to be done before it's even started. Excellent. And I suspect that we might need cloth before we relight the pyres or have the ability to relight the pyres. What do we got here? Cora Bay. Nice name. I like that one. A true return to form. Music fills the air. The Grand Harp. The Grand Harp has been washed away. Okay, not a problem. Where did the Grand Harp get washed away? Oh. It's with the Barge Settlers. Fine. Not a problem whatsoever. Okay, so bridges. Bridges, harps, relighting pyres. That is, that is no problem whatsoever. And there's just so much. There's so much food. There's so much water around here. We are fine. Wonderful. Okay, the hemp weaver. Can the hemp weaver be upgraded? Increase efficiency in four hours? No, let's get the greenery done first. Let's get the greenery done first. That's the priority. Hemp weaver can head out to this side. There we go. Just one. Absolutely adequate, I suspect. I'm going to actually use this as an opportunity to, to get a little bit of additional coal as well. I don't think that we're going to need it. I, I really, really don't, because... I mean, look, we chucked down one or two additional charcoal huts. We're, we're fine. We're sorted. But even then, there's plenty of coal in this environment. Famous last words, eh? But, I mean, from what I've seen thus far... I know there was a warning, but... It's mostly been fine. New research possible. Greener in the clinic, we are able to research the tea garden. Okay, that's interesting. I like the idea of that. Uh, new research possible. Minaret in the greenery, we're able to do the temple. Excellent. Let's have a little look, shall we? Okay. Five comfort whilst also providing health. Don't think that the tea garden is going to be... Is going to be important. I... I... Mm. I don't think so. I think the temple is probably where we want to go. And then just get some comfort bonuses. Yeah, I, I think that's what we're after. I, I really don't think that the tea garden is, is that important. Given that we've got the spirit healers. I guess it's maybe better, but... Nah. Not super bothered about that. Okay. So... Hemp Weaver's up and running. Hemp Weaver's up and running. That's that's real nice. It's real, real nice. Ancient Tower's over here. What do we need? Water? I mean, there's so much water around. Like, I'm not... I'm not gonna worry about water. Yeah, there's literally water en route. There's a settlement over here, which I'm pretty sure that we've already recruited from. But, you know, we'll check it out. Nonetheless. Relic Ruin. Well, we'll steer... Steer by that Relic Ruin. Coal deposits been been diminished. Yeah, thought so. We'd already recruited from there. Decrease that by one. Decrease that, and then we're almost at the tower. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Food. We're low on food. That might be a bit of a problem, but oh wait, no, it's not because this is a completely a completely bounty filled area. There's just so much stuff here. Come to a stop right over here. We'll just accumulate a whole bunch of water. Maybe don't accumulate that much water. And let's actually see if we can try and fix our coal now. 
actually see if we can try and fix our cult. So, whilst that's all occurring in the background, whilst we're doing a little bit of harvesting, I'm going to bring this out here. And that may cause people to have a problem. Nearby comforts. Yeah, nearby comforts, the greenery. We could just do it. We could just get them a greenery. But we don't even have... Uh, we do have a little bit of canvas. That's fine. Uh, doesn't matter. Let's do... Let's do the charcoal hut first. Uh, but of course, we can't do that yet. Because we ain't got... We ain't got the goods. Light it up. Oh. We didn't even require cotton. We didn't even require cotton to do that. Wonderful. Tower of Flame. Let's freaking go. Okay. Drain the Oasis. Or as good as drain the Oasis. And then work on a little bit of extra food production. Excellent. We've maxed out our water, which is grand. That gives us the opportunity to get a charcoal hut, right? Nope. Charcoal hut, please. Okay. Where do we want to smash it? Right in there? Just two? Two will reduce our capability to... Uh, coal will reduce our capability to to collect stuff. But I think that's, that's worth it. Right. Ignite the tip. We need to find the barge travelers next. Because the barge travelers have got the harp. If I'm not mistaken. Have we been to that settlement? It's worth double checking. I'm like 90% sure that we, we have. We haven't! This is why we double check here, folks. Alright, so we're at 139. We need level 3. We need level 3 houses. We can take two more people on board, and actually we can take plenty of people on board. Not even worried about it. Okay, barge. the barge travelers are, are over here. Are they called barge travelers? Barge settlers. Not barge travelers. And then the flame, the last flame tower is just beyond that. Some inhabitants don't have homes. Not a problem. We're working on the temple right now. That's going to hopefully provide some nearby comforts. We're okay for food. We're okay for water. Everything is completely fine. The shallows, you know, for as much as it is like a really, really large biome. It's, that's the tower over there, I think. Uh, it's actually completely, completely chill. Completely chill. Okay, barge settlers should just be south of us. Uh, sorry, not south of us, just below us, I should say. There we go. We ask of Cora Bay. Okay, they agree to gather its parts. Return its parts to Cora Bay, see what can be salvaged. Okay, excellent. So, that is... That is the next, or one of the next things that we need to do. But let's see what's out here. I, yeah, I have a funny feeling there might be more than meets the eye over here. Okay, temple research. This is it. This is freaking it. This is very, very exciting. Now, this minaret can probably go, I suspect. But we'll worry about that after we've got a, a bit of research to do. What do we care about? What do we care about? Do we care about... I guess we care about houses. Yeah, getting housing level 2 would be, would be excellent. So let's do that. Okay. Let's have a little look-see. A temple needs 10 wood. 10 wood. I've really not prioritized wood collection at all, because why would I? Uh, we are very low on the old coal, actually. Very low on the old coal. Let's, before we head out to... It's a ruin over there. And that's a settlement over there, too. Or a, or a die place. Let's actually swing by this forest real quick. Swing by this forest. Not the cotton meadow. I'm gonna swing by the forest, gonna pick up... That's also a settlement over there. Wonderful. Uh, we'll pick up a whole bunch of additional woods. Is that two settlements? Oh, that's exciting. That's very exciting, in fact. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, we've already got them. Okay, that's less incredible. Less incredible, but at least still, still good. Okay, so pick up the woods. Uh, we can also divert a couple of resources to picking up thickets. I'm gonna real quick build our very last houses on level two. 
come to a halt again. Relics we don't need. Should be collecting everything. Great. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. That's something over there that we, we absolutely need to head to. I was going to do something and I for the life of me can't remember. Oh yes, it was build a temple. It was build a temple once we have the wood down. Eight people. Eight people. Eight people. If I just build a greenery, will that satisfy literally everyone? Build a couple of them. It's a terrible place for a greenery, actually. Alright, how, how about that? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. How's that looking? Whoa. Inhabitants didn't find any food. Oh. Whoops. That one passed me by. Uh, let's... What are we collecting at the moment? Oh, yeah. We're collecting wood from the forest. Fine. Put all of our... Put all of our, uh, all of our peeps on food collection. We did have a couple of people on food collection already, but it just took a little while. Okay, we should be able to get some people jubilant. Like, very, very shortly indeed, actually. There we go. Okay. Gonna take a couple of people off Thicket Collection. Cold is running very, very low. Oh, yeah. Now, is there any coal around? We might get lucky. Find a little bit of coal around. I don't think there is, though. That's... Look, at the end of the day, that's that's not actually as great of a problem as it looks like. 0 0.6... Uh, negative 0 0.6 coal is, is not the end of the world. Uh, but more than that... We can easily just throw down a charcoal hut as soon as we have more people. People really are the limiting factor here now. I have so much stuff being produced locally that it is that it is a problem. That it is a problem. Okay, the thicket is now empty. Fine. One more charcoal hut. That'll, that'll put us in a good place. Excellent. So two additional charcoal huts. That's that's grand. And we are perfect. I think. Charcoal huts up and running. The next charcoal huts up and running. Beautiful. Okay, let's get these houses built. Please. Okay, reduce that. And then... Where was I... Where was I going? I wasn't going south. I was going this way. Yeah. So we need to hopefully pick up some more people. Because that is that is our problem right now. It is people. 100% people. People, people, people. Also, we are running out of wood because our because our charcoal huts are, are just that greedy. And the charcoal huts cannot be upgraded. Okay. Running out of wood is, is not as bad as running out of, uh, as running out of coal. Weary travelers. We come across a band of fatigued travelers. They seem disillusioned with their plight and are weary of anyone, including us. We are encouraged to move along and do just that. Okay, that's got to mean something. But what does it mean? What will it mean? What can it mean? Uh, the other thing that we need to consider is that we have pretty much expended all of our workers in in buildings. Iron ore cannot forge. Okay, good. We can we can pick up some more, some more people. Okay, we shouldn't ever run out of... There we go. We shouldn't ever run out of coal. We shouldn't ever run out of coal. The kingdom will fall. Coal has run out. The kingdom is falling. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're, we're, we're going to be fine. Uh, we're making we're making coal without having to scavenge it. But, you know, we'll, we'll take this opportunity to scavenge a whole bunch of coal. That's fine. Uh, did I build any of these garden things? These greenery things? Whatever the heck they're called. Provides the comforts of a home to inhabitants. Can be clumped together. So only one clump must touch a path. Yeah, that doesn't really explain how we're going to be able to get one more nearby comforts. Oh, we just need to get an overall number of nearby comforts up? Okay, so that is that is going to mean that a couple of temples will, will make all the difference. The issue is, though, of course, the temples cost eight people. Eight freaking people to, to build. Um, that's a lot. Okay. Get those dyes. Where's the settlement gone? There we go. Now. We need housing level 3. 
We need housing level 3 as a matter of urgency, actually. Do we have any other tier 2 constructions that we can do? No. It's not the end of the world, because we can still throw down an extension to the back of this house here, which is fine. But again, that is using valuable wood. It's using very, very valuable wood. Uh, right, where's that tower? Tower is directly north, and so is a settlement, which is wonderful. That looks like the edge of the world over there. What a lovely world. What a lovely world this is. I have I have grown to, to love it dearly. Okay. Almost out of water. What's costing so much water at the moment? Just the huge number of workers that we seem to have? Guess it makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, this is going to be really, really sad. How many... Okay, we've got eight people that are able to work. That is horrific, actually. Okay. There, there are, there's a lot, there's a lot riding on this, on this city. Ignite the, ignite the tip. And we'll return to the, to the cove. Uh, you know what, for all that I need water, I will dispatch, I will dispatch a worker over here. Right, well, we're not far, we're not far away. Are there any other settlements? Unknown ruin? Inhabitants wanted to drink water, but couldn't find any. Uh, yeah, that's a lie, because we, we have water. We absolutely have water. Food is running very low, but that's okay. There's thickets There's thickets below us. We can, we can survive that. Again, it's just the workers and the ability to... Uh, and the ability to collect stuff in a, in a fast enough manner that is causing is causing the problem. Okay, we're gonna have to get another house down as well because we we still need we still need space for one inhabitant and also of course the future people that are absolutely gonna be joining us. Uh, okay, so food wise let's uh, devote a few devote a few aircraft to food collection. Look at the amount of water that we have just leaving this look at the amount of water that we have leaving this airship. It's a lot it's a lot of water that we're that we're seeing leave. Okay, what does Ashrock Landing need? Homes for the Shallows. Okay, we can actually go and do that right now. Let's go and do that. Okay, so food we should be fine for. Yeah, to be fair, I'm not actually that worried about food. It's an Eternal Forge, irritatingly, so it's not a a settlement. Uh, I was kind of hoping that we'd maybe be able to pick up a couple of extra workers there, but that's fine. All right, let's head to let's head to Ashrock then, shall we? Yep, wonderful. Okay, think it moved out of range. That's fine. We're we're still okay. We're still absolutely fine. Water is is coming in, but it's it's taking a little while. Relics have been found. Anything else of interest up here? Looks like there's some activity beyond this town, but that's fine. Water, there's water over here. Sure. What the heck is this? This looks like the this looks like this is an environment that we could find something special in. Maybe not, though. Maybe not. Right. Ashrock Landing. We have a quest. All workers are busy. Oh, yeah. That is the massive downside to constantly... Constantly just, like, jerking from emergency to emergency. Ah, uh, two workers. We need two workers. I only freed up one worker from the, the water collection. But that's fine. I mean, look, we can we can pause here a little while. Uh, we got coal coming in, which is which is excellent. Build that. We've got coal that's coming in. We have food that's coming in. Small settlement. Have we been to that small settlement? We have been to that small settlement. I mean, I don't know how we're going to manage to build a, a temple at this rate. Housing block upgraded. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That is just in time because we're about to have a huge influx. A huge influx of, of people coming on board. Regain more resources when moving or destroying buildings. That would be handy, but, I mean, not a big deal. Increase maximum speed? Sure, we'll increase maximum speed. That's okay. Resource gatherer rates require 25% less water per household. Actually, I tell you what, that is that is crucial, and so is this. I should have invested in this a long time ago. That would have made a big old difference. Getting that early on would have been fantastic. 
But that's okay. As soon as we as soon as we fulfill all of our missions with these four cities, we are gonna get a whole bunch of extra people coming on board. Very, very exciting stuff. Very, very, very exciting stuff. And hopefully with the reduction in food and water consumption that we're gonna be researching, the homes are complete. Wonderful. Skyport time, or would you like something else? We shall find the lost party. I know where the lost party is. I know exactly where the lost party is. We are now known as the Airborne Kingdom. We've crested 150 people. With our last few migrants, we can finally recreate the Airborne Kingdom. We may recruit inhabitants, but our current population is now enough to form the Great Council. All of us are enchanted with our place in history. This day will be forever glorious. We are one step closer to the prophecy. Okay, what does that mean? What does that mean? There's nothing that I need to do to form the Great Council, I don't think. We just need to ally more people. Okay, fine. Uh, let's get housing level 3. Although, to be brutally honest, can we really support it? Thankfully, it only costs 2 wood to build. But we're going to need more wood if we want to sustain this. And the wood from my allies is, is frankly not enough. Okay, we got to head out over here then. Fine. Okay. There we go. So... More and more and more and more and more stuff. Anyway, the uh, the Lost Party were... Yeah, the Weary Travelers. They were down there. It's a bit of a shame that I need to head over there, but that's fine. We need to go back to the Broken Isles, actually, anyway, to, to do some... Uh, uh, to, to, give them, to give them some building advice. Some architectural stuff. Right, let's get level 3 pretty much everywhere, if we can. As soon as we have the wood, we'll do it. Water is very low. It's fine. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine. It's nothing to worry about. It's nothing to worry about. Okay, food. Take people off food. Instead, throw them all into the oasis. Turn around, get ready to head home. I say head home. Head, head back south. Nearby oasis is fully drained. It's okay. There's, like, a gazillion oasises around here. I'll just try and get as much wood as I can whilst I'm in the vicinity. Because wood is not necessarily... Oh, it's so good. That's so good. That's so good. Let's get a food reduction. Yeah. We'll just stagger it. Food, water reduction, food, water reduction, food, water reduction, etc, etc, etc. Nice. Okay. Oh my lordy, look at that! We're now basically not even water negative. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I've been missing I've been missing a trick this whole darn time. Meanwhile, here I am building loads of farms, loads of water condensers, when we can just get that upgrade. Wow, that's that's actually huge. That's actually really, really big for us. Right, well, housing we should be sorting uh, in just a second, which is great. I think that we can actually afford to now just head off. I mean, there's more wood en route, isn't there? So we don't need to worry about that. Inhabitants wanted water but couldn't find any to drink. Uh, I mean, look, we, we will need to worry about water, like, once more over the course of this entire game. Uh, I am, like, 0% concerned at this. Yeah, I mean, even this water that we're getting right now will be an ample supply. Uh, it is disturbing that I still haven't been able to build enough house level 3s. But this is the way, though. This is, like, the way that we we take our city to the next level. Maybe that'll afford enough, uh, enough free people to finally work on a temple. It's quite exciting. Some inhabitants do not have homes. Not a problem at all. Okay, so when everyone's back in the hangar, all of the planes are back, 15 workers stopped gathering from the resources, then that's okay. We need to just continue to head over there, I think. I think that's it. Yep. We will build the bridge. Excellent. As we're hopefully flying past. Did I need to do something? Ah, yeah. Okay, there it is. It's starting now. Okay, so that is all of our workers building all of the buildings that we need them to build over here, which is great. Water is still quite negative. Quite negative still. Strange. Okay, that took our food consumption down by two. Let's throw some more research points into reduction of food and water consumption. 
Okay, I wish I could have just picked up these weary travelers as I was flying past initially, right? Like, because we knew that there was something. We knew that there was something afoot. I'll take a whole bunch of cotton, I guess, since I'm still working on uh, cloth, canvas, and stuff. Also, it's been surprising. I guess surprising is probably not the term. It's been good that I haven't really needed to trade anything at all in the shallows. Whereas in the in the highlands, bridges are finished. Oh, it's just bridges for this city? It's not even... It's not even elsewhere. Uh, ally with the kingdom. Yeah, we just need a skyport. Okay, cool. Right, well, we'll head out over, over here and we'll probably hit up that big forest over there if we can. Because I need some more wood to build that skyport. And unless there is any wood around here, there is not... I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go a little bit further afield to get uh, to get some more wood. Okay, let's let's collect the weary travelers. Most wish to return home. Requires 15 food and 15 water. My pleasure. However, however, I did maybe just shoot myself in the foot a little bit there. I could always go back and trade. There's water there. Is there a thicket around here? Where am I headed? I'm headed to there. Oh, it's difficult to tell. That looks like something over there as well. I don't know what that is, but that's... I might have actually already been there. Um... Hmm... Hmm. Thickets, thickets, thickets. And an oasis. Is that a thicket over there? That's a thicket over there. Okay, we got it. 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 We'll be fine. We will be fine. We shall prevail. We shall prevail. We might want to trade, like, a little bit of water with a couple of people. But you know what? I'm, I'm going to maintain my, my no-trade spree. Okay, five workers over there, and then five workers over here as well. Nice. Okay, probably should have maybe read exactly how much food and water the, the weary travelers wanted before, before just immediately gifting them what they were after. Maybe would have been sensible, but that's fine. I mean, look, there's plenty of food. There's plenty of food. There's plenty of water over here. Yeah, 61 food remaining, 90-odd water, so that's excellent. Okay, so Ashrock Landing, we need to head back to. Return the Grand Harp to Cora Bay. Return to the Elysian Cape and constructing the Skyport at the Broken Isles. Uh, yeah, so just wood, right? Like, we literally need wood for the Skyport over here. Tell you what, there's a forest right over yonder. And then we can, then we can be on our way. Then we can be on our way once the Skyport is done. We can always come back to the city, and whilst we're waiting for the Skyport to be to be built, we can uh, we can work on food and water collection. There we go. Okay, I think that twenty workers is enough to justify the construction of a temple. I think that we can get away. I think that we can get away with building a temple. Let's do that whilst we're also waiting on the the Skyport to uh, to be constructed. Also, we have a huge number of free houses at the moment, which is excellent. It's very, very good news. Look at the amount of wood that we have, and look at the amount of wood that we need. Uh, we're maxed out on wood, funnily enough. Kind of crazy. All workers are busy. Not an issue. Not an issue. Decrease. Decrease that. Construct a skyport. Excellent. Okay, so let's let the let's let the workers do their job. Uh, stop over here because I want to pick up the rest of that forest because it is actually quite imperative that we get just a smidgen more a smidgen more wood because we're probably going to need it for the temple or something. Have I been to that settlement? Maybe I actually haven't been to that settlement. Let me head out that way. I don't want to head too far away just in case it uh, causes an issue with the building of the Skyport here. Either way, I'm very, very curious to see what we get from allying 
this this town. Also, I have too much. I have too much stuff. I don't have enough space for wood. Building maybe another storage center would be uh, would be a good way to fix that up. Not a big deal though. Not a big deal at all. Okay. Well, hey, we've gained another ally. Let's have a little look at what we get. Man, the images are just fantastic, aren't they? They're so nice. Broken Isles. Except they're now the fixed isles. Why are they called the Broken Isles still? Six cotton every day. Okay, so we get wood, iron, and cotton. Alright, that's... Fine-ish, I guess. I really don't need cotton. I never really needed cotton. We only need it for a few things, really. Can I build this temple now? Can I build this temple? Desires, temple. It's, it's eight flipping people. It's eight flipping people. That's the... That's the problem. So that's going to give plus 10 comfort. Plus 10 comfort. I think it scales better, but I think it only scales actually better if we get the upgrades. Increase comfort by 50%, so it's going to be up to 15 comfort. And then increase it by 100%, that's either going to be up to 20 or going to be up to like, I don't know, 30 or something. The point is, is that we need... Minus 65% overall comfort. That's insane. So do we just have to spam down these greeneries? I guess actually we just straight up spam down the greeneries. I, I think that that's the, that's the play here. Uh, you know what? Okay, we're, we're going to have a garden. We're going to have a garden up front here. We're going to have a freaking garden. There we go. D. Anchor the camera so that I can... Uh, so that I can actually make this look semi-respectable. There we go. This is actually going to be kind of nice. Okay, so we literally need 60. So that's a block of 8. Is this going to cause any tiltage? That is actually causing tiltage. That is actually causing tiltage. Okay, well, you know what? The front garden will be mirrored with, uh, with a lovely back garden, too. Okay. So, after the skyport is done, where did I say we were going to go? Probably Cora Bay. Cora Bay, Elysian Cape. They're so close together, though. Like, they're so close together. I feel like this area is quite, uh... I feel this area is quite easy. I mean, they're literally... They're literally all around. I think that's the right place. Yeah. They're they're very, very close together. Super easy. Okay, so, if I was to do this again... If I was to do this again, because I, I have a funny feeling that we are, like, very, very close to, to finishing the game here. If I was to do this again, I would definitely get the upgrade that decreases consumption earlier. Like, that... That seems like a like a given. Uh, this small settlement, yep, we'll absolutely be able to recruit here. Good stuff, just in time as well. Can't believe I was thinking that the temple was going to be the answer to all of our problems, whereas now I'm just decided to spam down a whole bunch of trees. Okay, Cora Bay, wonderful. Return the Grand Harp, repair it. Also, sell stuff. We need to sell... Uh, I guess I, I care for cotton. Sure. We'll trade mostly just to try and get rid of stuff. Yep, and a little bit of iron. Nice. Okay, then we're going to come to a, a halt here. Harp is going to be repaired. We're just going to wait for our builders to arrive over there and start constructing. That is very, very good indeed. Okay, 19 people are idle at the moment. How's... Okay, it's now minus 48% overall. You know what? I actually kind of like the idea. I actually kind of like the idea of just keeping all of the gardens at the front. Let's... Let's do this. We're going to put a, another fin. That looks equidistant. Okay, so that puts a little bit of... It doesn't even put that much of a tilt on the back at all. Doesn't even put that much of a tilt on the back at all. What about another lift device? We could, like, put a wing at the front. How about that? Does this cost people, though? Costs two people. 
cost is too high. We need more wood. Um, okay. We'll go and do that. We're gonna put some wings. We're gonna put some wings on the front. Let's let's put it let's put it in a not like super sucky location though. I kind of like the fact that we've got this uh, empty for now, so we're gonna leave that as is. The greenery is is just gonna continue to get better and better and better. Also, don't like how the entire thing shudders whenever I apparently build. Okay, this, this cannot be a very efficient process, but that's okay. Also, it's a good thing. It's a good thing that we're going to be adding the wing to, to counterbalance the, the fan at the back. Or should I say, to counterbalance the huge amount of greenery that we're going to be building at the front here. Because uh, we actually need we actually need the lift. So, you know, not a, not a moment too soon, really. Not a moment too soon. I think that we should have all of the resources that we need to immediately build the skyport over here. Depends on how quickly this wing gets built, really. This is looking this is looking very very professional. The grand harp is fixed. Excellent. Let's build the skyport. 10 cloth. Let's let's trade. Let's trade for our cloth given that I uh, can't really be bothered making it. <laughs> How much cotton do we have? We've got a little bit of cotton, but we might as well we might as well just uh, trade iron, something that we have a plentiful bounty of because we get it automatically from our allies, which is wonderful. There we go. Commit to the construction of the skyports. And then let's get these let's get these Hulk and Great wings at the front, shall we? Okay. Good. No, 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 no. Stay stay right here. Stay right here. In fact, angle yourself towards that city over there. Potato. There we go. And then come to a halt. Oh, look at that. Look at those wings. Okay, do they flap? They kind of flap. That's that's a good vibe. That's a good vibe. It's a major good vibe, actually. Also, I should get another hemp weaver because we are using so many. We are using so many bits of cloth. You're using so many bits of cloth that it's actually kind of, uh, kind of unreal. Also, can we trade perhaps for a little bit of wood? I'm, I'm keen for wood. We seek to buy wood. Is it cheap? It's not exactly expensive, but it's not exactly cheap. I tell you what, iron for wood is a great deal for me. Yeah, iron for wood is a really, really great deal. Okay, so we need, well, like one more wing. And then a whole bunch of additional gardens. This is a ridiculous situation. One more wing, purely for symmetry. So that gives us some front tilt, right? Oh yeah, this gives us some back tilt, right? This gives us some back tilt, but that's completely fine. Because of what we're doing up here. And it's only going to get more and more heavy uh, up towards the front, so... That's, that's fine. Can I make a third row? I totally can. Can we just infinitely clump these together? As long as we have cotton, of course. As long as we have cotton. Seemingly, that might be that might be the case. What's the issue? Is it healthcare? Is healthcare the issue? Yeah, healthcare is the issue. Uh, did a temple do healthcare? No, temple does faith. Well, hey, hey, we got another ally. Okay, so more and more cotton. Wonderful. This is exactly why we need the cotton uh, processing capability as well. Cora Bay. Good stuff. Excellent. Okay. Housing block. 40% less water per household. Wonderful. Maybe we do... Tea garden. Ah, no, I, I don't want to. I'm I'm convinced that this greenery idea is going to be... Is going to be... Uh, is going to be the way forward. So that's what we'll do. Warehouses, stacking. I, I don't care about food silo, water silo, warehouse stacking. None of that matters. None of this matters, I don't think. Maybe with the exception of efficiency for hemp weavers but i doubt that it's really gonna it's really gonna make uh, much of a difference at the end of the day we will get f food reductions so we'll do that we will do some additional housing blocks over here as well irritatingly though that is going to use up some of my rare wood resource okay that should be more than enough housing more than enough housing indeed Okay, food is running very low. Presumably there's a thicket around. I don't know. I have been kind of perched in this area for a while. 
What am I talking about? There's plenty of there's plenty of food around. Also, now that we've got some new some new fresh blood in the city, we we should be able to should be able to use those people to do uh, to do a whole bunch of different things, which is quite exciting, including in fact getting another hemp weaver up and running. Cool. Right. So, what do these wings actually require? They just require no fuel, two workers. Literally two workers. Okay, so we got two workers that are presumably... Yeah, they're literally pumping. They're literally pumping to keep us afloat. Well, don't stop. Please. Please do not stop. Otherwise, we are going to be in trouble. I could maybe, like, change the greenery around a little bit. But, you know, I kind of like the idea that it's just a bit random. You know? I kind of like that idea. A bit, a bit random indeed. And also healthcare we need to provide to people. Yeah, okay, so it was the tea garden that provided health. This greenery looks like it's doofed up. Uh, or maybe it just hasn't been built yet. Maybe it just hasn't been built yet? Maybe I'm going crazy. Doesn't look like it's been built though. It, well, it looks like it's been built, but it doesn't look like it's actually been built properly. I'll put it that way. Okay, uh, we're still negative 31 comfort. Negative 31 comfort is, is big sad. Big, big sad. Everyone has faith, though. We just need some more... Some more faith healers. Maybe this is a good opportunity to get down a couple of clinics, right? I've not built a clinic yet. We only need, what, two clinics? 150 inhabitants have health. So 20 people... 20 people need health. So yeah, it costs... It costs three people to run this, whereas it costs five people to run this. Actually, no, it's just straight up way better to get a faith healer. Of course, this faith healer is, like, fully upgraded, whereas the clinic is not fully upgraded. I guess the advantage of taking a clinic is that it requires fewer people to operate. But, uh... But... I mean, you know... We can, we can just about tolerate that. Uh, we've already recruited people from here. That's okay. Uh, we should head up to Ashrock Landing. We don't have any water at the moment. There is Oasis over there, but... Elysian Cape and Ashrock Landing as well. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll head up this way. We'll head over to water. Fine. Also, I kind of wish there was more technology. I, uh, I like researching the technology. I like the way that the technology sort of all... I like how you have to buy the, buy the blueprint and then research it. It's very, very cool indeed. I like it a lot. Okay. Right. How much canvas do we have? A lot of canvas. A lot of canvas, but not enough. Not enough to make a, a truly glorious garden. coming, keep it coming, keep it coming. Two, three, and one more. Yep, come on, build the canvas. Cost too high. Shouldn't be too high. As soon as we do the canvas thing, do the canvas thing. There we go. We did the canvas thing. Excellent. Right, let's head out to Ashrock Landing. And just in time, the oasis has been fully drained as well. Cool. Right, so I, I really don't care about my water setup or my farm setup. I think, in hindsight, given the fact that we've actually already done the... Already done the Highlands mission. Oh, we need 10 canvas. Uh, let's trade for canvas. Let's trade for canvas. We'll trade for canvas here. Given the fact that we've already done the Highlands missions, it's, uh, it's not super difficult for us to just sustain ourselves in this environment here. What do I not care about? Um... Iron, I guess. Iron is, is, is the one. Sure, deplete a little bit of iron. Deplete a little bit of water. A little bit of food. Might not actually have enough iron to do this now. Oh, we don't even need iron for this. It's literally just cotton and wood. I guess it's like the... The region's local resource. Is what we need. There we go. Mine a little bit of quartz. How much cotton do we have? Not much cotton. Let's use this. Let's use this opportunity to get some more cotton on on board the ship. Minus twenty eight comfort overall. 
That's only like two temples. That's the crazy thing, right? Is that it's only two temples. I really feel like maybe that's what we... That's what we do instead. Okay. Forests. Let's... Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get some more wood. Uh, I got... I got some more wings. I got two wings, but that's... They only provide ten lift. They're actually kind of useless. We still have another fan slot up here. We've gained another ally. Excellent. That's more cotton coming in, so less cotton that I need to worry about collecting. It's a little... A little nicety. Six cotton every day. Wonderful. We don't care about resources at the moment. Some inhabitants do not have homes. Really? 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 Okay. We can build homes, I guess. We can build homes. Excellent. Okay, that should be that should be plenty of homes. We just need to make sure that there's enough workers around to enough workers around to, to do the jobs. Also, we're we've run out of aircraft there. That's uh, remarkable. Didn't think that that would happen. Okay, let's not worry about cotton collection. We're actually completely okay for cotton collection. We just need to head. We just need to head to the last place now. I think that's it. I think that's literally it. I do want to get everyone jubilant on board. Why? I don't know. Some pride reason or something. Okay, here's what we do. Here's what we do. We build two temples. We build two temples. And that's and that's what we do. Not enough weight support. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, here's what we do. Here's what we do. Here's really what we do. Vertical rotor. Heavy tilt towards the front. Well, actually, no. Hold on. That's that's not what we want to do. Actually, no. Hold on a second. We can just do heavy tilt towards the front. And then we can just build these two at the back. Right? So everyone is going to be unhappy, right? Because the tilt is the tilt is extreme. But these vertical rotors are going to give us plus 25. Uh, plus 25 food. Fuel. No. Actually, hold up. That's going to use a whole bunch of coal. Do I want to do that? Do I want to do that? Yeah, I, I guess I kind of do. I guess I kind of do. We can we can always get some more fuel or get some more charcoal burners or whatever. I'll get some more charcoal burners right now. There's just so much that could go wrong, though, right? Like, there's, there's so many potential problems that could occur. Let's get this built. Get it built quickly, please. Our wood drain is already slight. It's fine. It's fine, but obviously it would be great if it didn't exist. Okay, plonk that down. Now we're at minus 0 0.5 coal. Let's get another let's get another charcoal hut. Okay. So we got some tilting action going on towards the front, but that's okay. That's okay. Temple. Excellent. And excellent. Okay. Is there is there some tilt? There is very, very little tilt. That's looking great. That's looking great. So that should put us in positive comfort territory, I think. I believe. And if not, we get a couple of additional trees at the front and we'll be we'll be absolutely fine. Okay, we're fine for coal. We're a little bit worse for wood, to be honest, but that's that's fine. Okay, let's let's head out to our to our last city. This is this is turning into quite an airborne kingdom. Forty percent less food per household. Not really a priority at the moment, actually. Not not necessarily great. We'll we'll get a bonus for the for the temples now that we've decided to get them at long last. Uh, that's a little bit of coal. I'll pick up just a smidgen of coal. How many free workers do we have? I hope that it's more than two. It's got to be more than two. It's got to be more than two. Do we only have two people that are collecting resources? Water's running very low. Wow, we have two people that are collecting resources now. That's insane. That's insane. That's actually insane. Okay, well, Ashrock Landing, let's... 
let's give the... Okay, we literally do not have anyone that's free. Okay. There's an order of operations here. There's an order of operations here. First, first and foremost, we get... We get these people... We need to free some people, basically. We need to free... We need to free up some people. Who do we want to free up? Academies? Yeah, okay. Destroy an academy. Destroy an academy. Then what we want to do is we want to build four more... Four more greeneries. As a priority. Hopefully it doesn't tilt things too badly. Okay, two workers assigned to the construction, etc, etc, etc. So we go and do that first priority. Second priority is we pick up the extra the extra person that we're going to be able to recruit because we're going to be able to recruit people in just a second as soon as we build as soon as we build these four trees. There we go. The settlements over here. We'll pick those people up. Or that one person up, I guess. Everyone is going to jump to Jubilant. Just mark my words. Okay, maybe we just need literally one more. I presume it's just a case of, like, positive-negative thing. If it, if it, like, scales, then that might be a problem. Either way, getting rid of the academy doesn't really torpedo anything. It's it's fine. There we go. Literally everyone jumps to Jubilant. Brilliant. Good stuff. Okay. Let's pick you up. Wonderful. So that gets us one extra person. Go here. We send you to construct the Skyport. This is as far as I believe the last kingdom. Uh, we still have a couple of wonders to find. Great libraries. Don't think that we... I don't think that we know where they are, although we have come across a couple of them already. We have come across a couple of them. Food is running very low. It's okay, there's definitely a thicket around here somewhere. Yeah, over there. Excellent. Man, this... This biome? This biome is excellent. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. There's just so much of everything. We have four workers, by the way. Not a moment too soon are we going to be finishing the Skyport. So we've got two workers that are involved in the construction of the Skyport. Everyone else is out collecting. Wow, we have, like, maxed this freaking airship out. We really, really have. Okay, also, can I just, uh... Oh, excellent! We've gained another ally. Hurrah! Okay, what happens now? We are now allied with Ash Rock Landing. The name is lame, but we did it. Return to the tapestry. We have now allied with every kingdom on the ground, restoring harmonious cooperation to all lands. Our work is not yet complete, for we must forever raid the kingdoms. Without a flying connection, their isolation may well ex restore itself. But there is one final task which we must agree, uh, which we agree must be undertaken. For when we found these ancient technologies, their secrets were lost in time. We must return to the tapestry that began our journey and proudly display it so that none may forget. Again. Interesting. Okay. Now, that may seem easy, but in actuality, may be a little bit of a problem. Because I have grown... I've grown lazy. I have grown... I have grown to like these shallow waters. I like him. I like him a lot. Uh, also, is everyone still going to be jubilant? That may well stop happening. Either way, let's get that built. We got a couple of extra people to work, which is uh, which is nice. What do we need? Food or water? Uh, actually, both. We got nine. We got nine free people now. Okay. All right. That's better than nothing. If we keep everyone jubilant, then we should be able to just pick up like settlers on the way back. Settlement three out of three. Settlement two out of three. I guess we can actually just try and go to both of those. All right, let's head back then. Let's head back. I think it moved out of range. Oh, we actually have like 12 workers. All right. 
So this first this first stage is the easy bit. Okay, we're first looking out for a settlement over here. That's okay. And oh yeah, I completely forgot that we do actually need to build houses. Okay. And we're still on the lookout for those wonders. I don't know where I don't know where we'd expect to find them. Okay, head in this direction, I believe. And then it should be just a tickle north. Wonderful. And it's the relic ruin. We're coming up on it. That's fine. Okay, loads and loads of lift. Lift is great. Uh, if I connect this path down here, by the way, I was going to do it earlier. That would look pretty good though. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it now. Might faff around with that later. Where is it? Where's the settlement? Where is the settlement? Am I going absolutely bonkers? Ah, there it is. We got it. Okay. So it's the stragglers. It's the stragglers, which is excellent. Uh, okay, given that we found the, given that we found the Tree of Serenity here, the Lone Trees, the Tree of Serenity we found, the Lost Libraries, we've already found two Lost Libraries, I presume it's one per biome, right? Three Golden Spheres to build the Ori. Alright, doesn't matter. Let's return to the Tapestry, let's return to the Tapestry. There could very well be some more stuff to discover Library of Intelligence. So we found the library here. We definitely found the library in the shallows. So there's probably a library in the highlands. Yeah, there could very well be a library in the highlands. Okay, well, we're going to need to head, like, southeast. Am I okay for food? Let's head... Let's head uh, south to this edge before, before heading out over yonder. Cool. Alright, we'll do some water collection whilst we're flying past, and then we will pick up some food as well. Okay, so we basically just want to fly right down past the Library of Knowledge. Right down past the old ancient towers. Pick up people from these two settlements. So head right between the two towers. Right between the two towers, right past the old library of knowledge. I don't know what these wonders uh, do for us, but I kind of like how there's a little, you know, a little bonus. I presume that it's not important for the story, but uh, but it's still fun to to shoot for nonetheless. Uh, I completely misclicked that. It's just an idiot, apparently. Wonderful. Are we still okay? Yep, we're still okay. We still got loads of people that are jubilant. Only issue is that not many people have uh, a house. Three, four, five, six. Okay, maybe we stop at like 200 people. Maybe we stop at 200 people. There is like another settlement just over there. We can like swing ever so slightly over in that direction. Then we need to hit up the other settlement over there, and then we head back to... back to the... back to the OG starting area. This is actually a good settlement to come and pass. Uh, that's not the one, is it? No, it's just to the right. It's a good settlement to come and pass because we need to pick up a whole bunch of food for the journey. It's pretty imperative that we make sure that we're well supplied for the voyage across the, the emptiness. Okay, stop over here. We'll go and pick up a little bit of extra wood as well. Whilst we're waiting for the food to get picked up. Uh, I do worry. I do worry that perhaps we we may not have enough wood. We do have enough coal, which is excellent. Research is fine. Food will be good in just a second. Oasis is drained, but there's going to be plenty of other oasises en route. 
I suspect. Okay, prioritize working on the forest instead. And we will swing this ship around and we will bring it over in this direction. Cool. All right, let's, uh, let's just ride and whatever resources manage to catch up with us, uh, the better, I guess. We'll do some forests. We've now got an appropriate number of houses, which is excellent. We found the library over there, didn't we? There is a golden sphere around here somewhere. I, 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 I mean, in this biome, presumably. We've only found one golden sphere thus far. Uh, do I need anything before we head in? No. Uh, well, we could pick up a little bit of extra water. And we'll pick up the last person from this settlement, because, of course, we are now jubilant. And there we go. We will invest our last few workers in the oasis. The oasis maybe gets drained, maybe it doesn't by the time that we actually fly out of there. Doesn't particularly matter, as long as we, uh, as long as we have just a little bit of additional water for the journey. We should be just fine. Okay, we have, like, absolutely ample quantities of absolutely everything. As we head back over here. I feel good. This feels really, really excellent. This feels really, really, really excellent. This is a... This is an absolute beast. This is a beast of an airborne kingdom, as they say. Okay, so we should be, like... Pretty much on course, really. Yeah, we're pretty much on course as is. I kind of tried to... I kind of tried to bridge at the at the shortest point because I was a little bit worried that we'd run out of resources. As it turns out, we've not had any issues with that. There's a settlement over here. We might as well pick up a another person. Given that we are jubilant. It feels so good that everyone's on our side now, right? We are completely allied. We have so many friends. Thickets. Wood. And a little bit of water if we can. Nice. Okay, our pace is still good. Our pace is still good. It would be good if we could maybe get another... Uh, another vertical fan. Another method of propulsion, perhaps. Another fin, that's that's the term. But um, but at the end of the day, if we don't end up getting another fin, it's it's not a problem. 75% speed is, is, is good. It is good. Uh, it's also going to put us on a larger... On a larger tilt, perhaps. Where are we tilting? 1% left. Maybe we could stick a fin right over here, actually. Yeah. That might fix things up for us. Give us a little bit of extra boost. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I drove right past the settlement. I gotta swing around. I gotta swing around and pick up the pick up the extra person. We need all all hands on deck for the grand, the grand celebratory remembrance tapestry display. Okay, three out of three. Three out of three. Three out of three. I do wish that you could actually just click on the map um, and sort of direct where you want to go. That would be a nice quality of life change. I'm not even bothering to pick up relics anymore. There might be a couple of relics around here that we haven't picked up. Alternatively, we might have just got them all. You never know. Okay. This is nice. I like how we have to return to our original our original biome to to display the to display the tapestry. We are like super non-tilted. We got 1% tilt. Can you believe that? Unknown settlement. Have I not been here? Ooh. Interesting. There might be some new stuff over here. I mean, we've got we got the time, we got the space, we got the we got the speed. All righty. Jubilant. Oh no. We uh, we dropped into uncomfortable territory, but that's okay because we get we get a whole bunch of cotton each and every day, and I have no doubt that very soon. Not enough weight. Ooh, yeah. Um. 
how much do those greeneries cost? 0 0.5? Why don't we get... Why don't we get some more... Some more lift. We need a... We need Adobe for lift. It's all... It's all going wrong. It's going horrendously wrong. Oh, wait. No, it's not. We're, we're gonna be just fine. Okay. We can actually still get two people, but... I want to get more, obviously. Cool. And we'll build some more houses as well. All I flippin' seem to do is build houses. Am I able to build on top of here? Ah, not enough. Not enough lift. Not enough lift. That's, that's the problem. That is indeed the problem. Okay. Well, that's why I'm currently trying to try and... Currently trying to try currently getting as much uh, adobe as I possibly can. So there is a, there's a series of operations here. First operation. Yeah, first operation is, is get the wings. Uh, or any other sort of elevation device that we could maybe deploy. I, I think the wings look better, to be honest. I think look, wings look better. And I think it would also sort of fit better just in the general scheme of things. So let's do that. So that gives us like a, an extra tiny little bit of lift. It's only like two lift, but it's fine. It'll at least allow us to throw down a couple of extra greeneries. In fact, even those two greeneries that I just threw down, seemingly, that was enough. Cool. I think that'll do. I think that'll do. Pick up the last person as well. Nice. So I like even at last stages of the game, we're just sort of pushing our pushing our capability to the max here. Uh, I will get a little bit of extra water whilst there is an oasis nearby. Wood as well. We'll throw a couple of extra people into, into wood. Production. Uh, housing. We can now build a few extra houses. Two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. Right, that'll probably just about cap us out at uh, at lift capability. Our speed is 91% now, by the way. Do these wings give us speed? They don't. They don't, but they give us lift. Wonderful. Okay, comfort has been increased for, for those. Uh, I'll get the balloons, and then I'll get the fins. Right, I want to get one more wing for the sake of balance and consistency. Yeah, I mean, we could just, like, cut across this corner here. But I feel like it would be kind of risky. And why would we risk it? Okay, woods. Yep. Wood, 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 wood. I mean, we don't need it. We don't need anything. Sure, it would be nice to have a little bit of extra wood to build this, uh, to build the second wing, but but it's not imperative. I think that's where we're going. I think that is where we're going. Relics have been found here. Is there like anywhere else? Is there anywhere else that we haven't really explored around here? Balloons. Well, hey, okay, we'll do fans, I guess. Sure. Okay, is there anywhere else that we haven't explored here? Could very well be some other, some other secrets hidden outside. Man, this this original biome is just so nice. You can just see so much stuff. Man, you really need to you really need to be super on the ball to make sure that you're catching absolutely everything. I mean, that library supposedly was hard to was hard to find according to the video game. So. We need to we need to keep an eye out for these wonders because I've definitely not seen that many of them, you know, four or five I think that we found and there's like nine. So, clearly missed a few. Okay, the tapestry ruin. An unremarkable ruin is half covered in sand, similar to the hundred scattered across the barrens, and yet within its walls we find a prophecy that we can hope can change the fate of an empire. We begin to raise the tapestry. Oh. There we As go. we a little raised bit the tapestry, a crack broke the skies from above. 
Descending from the expanse was a platform on which stood a single elder. The sage who explained the true prophecy. Long ago, the ancients did not disappear. They ascended. These ascendants climbed ever higher into the heavens among the stars. They worried of sharing this discovery, for the skies held a beauty that should never be sullied. Yet, to hide such splendor was equal folly. So they devised a ritual to prove one's worth and see who could become ascendant. The prophecy. Those who could find the old machines and unite the world would be worthy of the infinite. We were not the first. Our legends were just one of a never-ending loop. And we had proven our worth. We could ascend. The sage assured us that our quest was won. But we hesitated. Was that the destiny of our people? Of course, you know the choice we made. But its consequence is a tale for another time. I think, I think that's it. All right, so it turns out, it turns out the people that said the prophecy were just total jerks, apparently. Um, just total, complete jerks and only thought about themselves. Um, and therefore, we were just rehashing somebody else's story. Well, you know what? I tell you what, I enjoyed the heck out of it nonetheless. That was really, really good. Uh, the story was a little, a little bonus, you know, thrown in there uh, just at the end. I liked it. That was a really, really great game. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and what a what a whole bunch of really interesting and unique mechanics. I, I love the fact that, you know, resources are super scarce across the world, and you have to be really, really careful about how you allocate people to certain buildings so that you can balance localized production, uh, as well as ensuring that your planes are always able to, uh, are always able to, to maintain, to maintain some sort of collection, collection capability. That was a that was a really nifty game. That was a really really nifty game, and um, and honestly, I enjoyed it a heck of a lot. Okay, well you know what I I think that that's I think that that's uh, I think that that's it. I mean we do technically I think have the the wonders to do, but like I mean we already know we already know what the heck is gonna happen. You never know. We might we might come back for an episode in the future, depending if this game gets uh, gets any updates or if there's if there's any amendments. We could always return and uh, and do a few more a few more quests, a few more wonder quests. But I think for now we'll we'll probably wrap this up. This has been this has been Airborne Kingdom, and it's been a good. One. Thank you very much for watching the series, folks. As ever, thank you very much to the fantastic Patreon supporters. Patreon.com forward slash Orbital Potato. Thank you to Banana and Ananasi Senpai and Aurelio for being the three twenty-five dollar plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>